This video is brought to you by Squarespace. You can build websites and run your online business in this all-in-one platform. thrifting and I got this slouchy hoodie. I also got this funky pattern short sleeve button up but here's the real goodies that I wanted to show you. So a few months back I did a collaboration with Mini Gallery Box and she sent me some stuff and I haven't seen these in person until now. Oh she put a little note on it and this is what it looks like. She sent me three of them. Whoa. But yeah, everything um, was drawn and illustrated by me. And she went in and did the designs for like the zine, the folder, and everything else. And she did a really good job of designing everything. So this is the first print and it's on this like nice textured matte paper. It also comes with two mini prints and these are also on the same paper and they're also matte. This is the zine. This is what I've been waiting for because I'm actually really excited. Ooh, okay, so the paper she used has this like very cool like speckling on it. I don't know if you can see it, but it makes it look like pottery. Whoa. Whoa. Like look at her design. It's so good. I just love the way the zine turned out. Lastly, um, there's a few stickers. So this is one of the stickers. I drew apple juice and orange juice as best friends. And then I have this strawberry bunny as one. And then the last one is this honey bottle bee. And I also asked for some stickers from other creators that worked with her in the past. I got some from Cheyenne Barton as well as Sibylline because I love their work. <gasps> Okay, so these are from Cheyenne. There's a flower, a strawberry cup, and then an orange girl. And these are from Sibylline. Whoa, okay. So there's a goose one, and I love how hers has like sparkles on it. There's a frog, and then the little sheepies. <sighs> Sometimes it still feels like a dream to be like working alongside like such talented artists and being able to do like the same projects as them and it's like wow it, this is like all I've ever wanted for like middle school Tiffany and now she's doing it and it just makes me feel so warm I also got some sticker app stuff in the mail I'm pretty sure these are my Halloween stickers I made them a matte finish this time and there, it's just a little uh, red panda with a pumpkin on his head. And I'm only gonna have 150 of these up in the month of October because this is like more Halloween themed. And once it sells out, it sells out. Oh, I wanna take a nap. I'm realizing that my business side of my brain and personality is very organized and very clean and then my creative side of my brain is a lot more disorganized and I'm okay with it. I got my prints in the mail. So these are some limited edition prints for my shop for October. It's a little witch. And I will have to say, this was a pretty intricate one to draw. And it's also one of my biggest prints I've ever made. But I also got Patreon goodies for October, which is this cat inside of a jar. 
and it's supposed to be a spooky cat. Maybe I shouldn't open it. Should I open it? Whatever, I'll just open it. Ooh, the colors. Oh. Now I'm a little concerned. So what's weird is that like, I got my prints done last time with the border and it was like perfectly centered and the border was perfectly even. But this one I just pulled out has very uneven borders. Maybe I should check them all. But that is worrying because if that's the case, I have to trim all of these prints by myself. <gasps> They're all uneven. day one of Cheektober and there are so many so many wonderful artists that submitted for day one and I was so excited like just scrolling through every single one and just like seeing how everyone interprets the prompt. I know the prompts that I made were a little bit more specific than other prompts that other uh, artists and creatives have made for the month of October. I wanted to take a little bit of the brain power out of it because it is a monthly challenge. I always get surprised when I see people do or like take an extra step further and make it something totally unique and yeah I love how October is always like the month for me to just find new artists and discover new people that I would have never discovered without Cheektober. There's just so much amazing art flowing during the month of October. This was my submission for day one. She is all right. I need to stop doing that. Um, but this is my first submission. Yeah, I'm already looking forward to day two and day three and day four and day five, etc., etc. I'm also planning a shop update, a spooky Halloween shop update soon. So October is hella busy. But yeah, I'm trying to take it as a no stress October. Um, only drawing daily if I feel like it. And I have a few prepped in advance so I don't stress too much at the beginning but I hope I do a lot of them because I feel like it's making me um, a lot more like it's like moving my creative gears again to do this challenge and I think that's exactly what I wanted I could do this forever I could just keep drawing for the rest of my life if I wanted to like that's the mood that's the vibe and that's what I hope you all are going through as well back to work I would like to thank our sponsor for today's video, which is Squarespace. Thank you Squarespace so much for sponsoring another video. So Squarespace is a platform where you can buy your domain as well as design a website on there to either grow your business, create a portfolio, do whatever you need to do with all their wonderful themes and templates. I've been using Squarespace since I was a student in college and it was just a great way for me to showcase my work to show to potential hirees and just anyone I wanted to show my work to. Now alongside using my Squarespace as a portfolio site, I also use it as a secret shop for my patrons and it's just really nice to be able to separate that from my main site. 
You can add a password protection onto it so that only people with the password are able to check out and use that specific page. If you would like to trial Squarespace, please go to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch, you can click my link for 10% off on a website or a domain. been waiting for these for so long. It is a little kitty skull with witch's flowers. Let's see if it actually glows in the dark. I need to charge it though. Let me just... <laughs> oh my god. Okay, it's as dark as I can get it. <gasps> Whoa! Holy, that is very bright. I love the way it looks. Oh, okay, I'm getting out of here. It's very, very cramped. shop update tomorrow and I may have procrastinated way too much making TikToks because I haven't really started preparing for it yet. I think in my mind, I think there's like a lot to prepare but that's only because I just had my previous shop update where I had to do like everything from scratch. I had to build the website from scratch and all the inventory and everything and now that everything's like kind of cemented on my website and I only have like four new products that I need to add on to it. I actually don't have that much I have to do. I just have to change the banners, prepare my social media posts, and just upload four products. So can I finish it in a few hours? I probably can. Um, but right now I'm playing around with like the colors of the website. I previously had it as a dark blue, yellow, and pink colorway which was very like up my alley and something I really liked um, but for the October shop update I wanted to kind of like juice it up a little bit and make it like fall themed so I have like orange purples and greens I'm gonna start working on the banner and social media posts I took this picture earlier today and I'm gonna use it for the banner but I really want to decorate it with like little drawings of pumpkins and like cute things Ooh, and I also want to make my little GIF logo thing on my website into possibly like a ghost GIF because I, I think that would be really cute. Yeah, there was just something... Cool. Thank you.
use the apple now. Okay, I'm gonna stop twerking. <laughs> Wait, did I say twerking? I'm gonna stop tweaking the website now, and this is gonna be the color palette. This is what it looks like, and it just matches the palette of my Halloween themed stuff a lot better. I wanted to show you guys some stuff that I bought from Target. I saw this book and stand by Christian Robinson, which is like a children's book artist that does amazing work. He looks so happy. And I also found these cards by Alison Black. And there were a lot more, but I bought my favorite ones. I am really tempted to just keep these and never like use them, but she is also a children's book artist and she made this one, which is a birthday cake and it has a little face that's really cute. And then um, I also was really drawn to this one, I think because of the like subtle uh, like pencil marks on it. I don't know if you can see it, but like there's like subtle shifts of color inside of the white. And I have been loving texture recently and I just love the way she like subtly adds the texture onto the very geometric shapes because this is like a way that I like to draw too is like very geometric but I also am like confused on how I can add texture and I really loved how she did it on both of these and she also did this one last one it is this tiger or not tiger this is not a tiger this is a leopard do I not know my animals? I think this is a leopard. But yeah, um, this one's also very fun. But uh, yeah, those were my finds for today. And I am very, very happy. I have no idea what I'm gonna do with this, but yay, I'm very proud of them. Good morning. It's 8.19 and the shop updates at nine, so I still have a good amount of time to prepare and do all those things. It was like literally 106 degrees like two weeks ago. And today, right now, it's 57 degrees and I am cold as heck. Like I can feel it through the windows. I totally forgot to film me opening my shop, but I opened it and there are some complications like I changed a few of the settings um, with shipping and everything last minute yesterday and I realized I couldn't do that. So now I'm changing everything back. So my Shopify is up right now and I'm just, I need to do some things before I can upload stuff onto my Etsy and launch that for other people to purchase. I'm kind of hungry. Why am I always hungry in shop updates?
Yeah, tax bracket. <laughs> Family. Mm -hmm. Tinder height. People lie on their Tinder. <laughs> no. I mean, yeah, I would no. never. video throughout the month of October because I love spooky season. It is my favorite season of the entire year. Today, I am a low effort man. Don't worry. No, it's not scary. Start to think I like being stuck because if you look at the sea some pictures on our little trip to Mount Charleston and I really wanted to paint them because they're really really pretty pictures and so I tried to paint in my Mossery notebook and of course because I'm kind of intimidated by the sketchbook I think because this paper is so thick and it seems so expensive like every time I paint in this it just makes me feel very nervous and I can't really let go or maybe I just didn't warm up yet but that's what I painted, and I'm not too proud of it. I feel like it's very dark. Like, the gouache dried really dark on it, so I'm not really... It doesn't really feel like me, necessarily. It just kind of feels bleh. Hmm. And it doesn't really give off the feeling that I wanted it to give off, so... Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna move on. Underneath peppermint on your tongue. 
feel about this yet because it's very different from what I usually do but I tried to do a lot more texture on it by layering a lot of gesso on the white bits and I don't know if you can see but it should be more three-dimensional in a way I'm very proud of myself for getting my teeth checked today. I have fluoride on my teeth and it was really weird when I was like drinking water and stuff. Also, this isn't the best idea after getting my teeth clean, but there was a donut shop right next door and it looked very good. Do you want a bite? I'm finally getting into the order packing mood. Um, I think I will pack all my letter orders today as well as some Patreon orders. And then I might just head home because my housemates are planning on going stargazing tonight. I'm very excited to see stars. I love stargazing. Stargazing is probably on the top of the list of things that I love doing besides like walking around in nature and hiking, so.
Pick in the view, T. This is the last, last good view before. Uh...